Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm playing this because this game looks like shit, and I think, uh, that's, that's, that's ultimately what this game is highlighting. Uh, shitty tropes, and, you know, uh, having fun with it, so, yep. Yeah, I, I. <laughs> Are you a complete noob to weeaboo and anime culture? <laughs> no, of course not. Good luck being confused for the entire game. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright. I dreamt about zero waifus. I need 25 waifus. When I woke up, I wondered about what a wet treat that was. <laughs> when I woke up, it was morning. I just had transferred to a new school. Um, oh god. Um. <coughs> When I woke up, it was morning. I had just transferred to a new school back to my home country, Japan. I didn't remember anymore, but when I was young, I had lived in Japan for quite some time. Was what my parents told me. So I went to the bathroom. It turned out I accidentally drank spoiled milk. So now I'm constipated. I sat down on the toilet seat and groaned painfully. That underwear, though. Finally, something came out. It was small at first, but it combusted it. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it was late. Oh my god. Until I got lost, what was the point if I didn't know where I was going? Um, I felt a sense of deja vu. I remembered this place from deep within my memories. Feeling this feeling had made me want to turn that very nostalgic corner. As I turned that corner, I accidentally ran into a girl who had a piece of toast in her mouth. What? Yeah. She fell with a thud and fainted. She'll be alright. I didn't have the time helping random suspicious strangers when I'm running late. I ran past her unconscious body across the street, thinking that was the last of my troubles I collided into another body. Ah. Uh, boy coon. <laughs> Arg. Hey, watch where you're going. The boy I ran into got up rather quickly and held out a hand. Gosh, I'm sorry, are you alright? Uh, th I like this. This is neat. This is pretty adorable. I like this. <laughs> <clears throat> well, at least this time the person I bumped into didn't faint, nor did I accidentally grope, nor did they accidentally flash their panties. Oh, uh, I like this game. Because I have a feeling that it makes fun of the shitty tropes in anime, hence the constant shit icons and um i guess the shitty opening to this game i like it i like it thus far <laughs> should i take his hand sure yeah i suppose thanks i took the boy's hand and he pulled me up hey do you know how to get to kusogaku <laughs> yeah how did you know you're wearing my school's uniform of course this sicky, this sicky glee. I can't say it. This sickened, this this sickeningly generic high school uniform that seems to belong to any typical Japanese high school. Yeah. Well, since you're very perceptive, I suppose we could introduce ourselves. Oh, okay. Oh my God, that's adorable. I use that constantly. <clears throat> in, in Skype. <laughs> I love this. I'm classmate. Uh, I'm classmate A. You can call me classmate Coon. <laughs> his name. His name seemed kind of plain. He also didn't seem to have any identifying features. Almost a bit faceless. Okay, I'm called the protagonist. You can call me Protag Coon. <laughs> oh, okay. 
He must be an NPC. <laughs> the school bell rang loudly, seeing that it was just a street ahead from where we were standing. Sorry, got to go. See you at school. I bid farewell to classmate Coon and quickly left him in the dust. <coughs> Though I was in a hurry to get to class, I noticed that classmate Kuhn was going the opposite way. I arrived at Kuso Gakuen. <laughs> Literally, there was no one in sight. Not only that, the school gates were closed. It didn't look it didn't look like it, but my shonen protagonist senses felt an invisible barrier. <laughs> Whatever should I do? Uh if you're a shonen, it depends on what type of shonen I am. Because I could be the typical shonen that, of course, I am the shonen protagonist, so I go to school, and, you know, and I'm either there. Well, in typical anime, I wouldn't be the popular guy. I'd be the everyday guy, so I'm just there, and I kind of envy the popular guy sometimes. But, you know, my quirky hijinks and awkward nature somehow make me popular at the end of the day. Or, I could be like other shonen protags, and I could skip school, and, you know, basically, uh, be, be the cool guy who, you know, gets into trouble and I get into fights. But considering my character looks lame, I'm, I'm probably not... I'm not a Yusuke protag, so I'm gonna climb, I'm gonna climb the gates. <coughs> I guess I should I guess I should climb over the gates because that's such a great idea. Never mind the possibility that I could be caught by a security guard for suspicious activity. Because you're wearing a school uniform and going to school, okay. So I perched my foot onto the metal gate and climbed upwards. I picked up the pace and hopped over to the other side. Ohio <laughs> Oh god, I love classmate Coon. <laughs> yeah, when did you get here? I followed after you. We do go to the same school after all. <laughs> Was this guy pulling my leg? He got here before I did and he wasn't even sweating. What, what the fuck? Oh, never mind. Was he Goku or something? I could say Superman, but that's what I would say if I was still in America. <laughs> well, we better go in before we were caught by the teachers. Y yeah. We went into the building quietly as possible. From there, classmate Kuhn and I walked our separate ways, but for but somehow I knew we would meet again. Behind the door to my classroom, I could hear Miss, I mean Sensei-san, getting ready to introduce me, the transfer student. Just as Sensei-san was about, oh, yeah, was about finished telling the class that I should be arriving any second now, I walked in. <laughs> I love this game. It makes fun of every typical story ever. This is funny. Anime-related story, I, I meant to say. <clears throat> Oh, what do we have here if it isn't the protagonist? I was just talking about you to the class. The class began to buzz as I stepped into the room. They could see that I wasn't just any normal transfer student. I could hear whispers here and there, certainly caused by me and my strange foreign appearance. Girl Chan, <laughs> is that white hair? Boy Coon? <laughs> What's with his name? He's kawaii, but he's a gaijin. The chattering seemingly got out of control before Sensei Sad silenced her class with a loud cough. Ahem, class, onegai mina san. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. Weebs, this is what you sound like. <laughs> Oh, man. Please greet your new classmate. Yoroshiku Nagaishimasu! <laughs> oh, man, that just makes me think of Gintama. Oh, God. Fucking love Gintoki. 
Good. Now, Pro Tacoon, could you tell something about yourself? Uh, sure. Let's play it smooth. My name. What the fuck? <laughs> My name is the protagonist. I'm 17 years old. I'm from America, even though I was born in Japan. My side is Aquarius. My... What is this based with? Is this base width and height? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I enjoy reading cheesy romantic books and taking long walks on the beach. I've mastered black belt and ten different types of martial arts. Even Shaolin soccer. I'm currently single and I'm looking for an eyeball? Or Koi Mito right now. What I look in for, for a person is their personality, not just their looks. If you're interested in getting to know me, send me a Tinder request. <laughs> or friend or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Furry Affinity, and MySpace. <laughs> I love this game. I fucking love this game. And if you're wondering, I'm a natural whitehead born from the oily skin of my father. Ha, uh, acne joke. Call me senpai. So, so where do I sit? Um, uh, you could sit in the back next to that plain, unimportant looking boy. If it is classmate Coon, I am going to fucking die. I looked back and I saw classmate Coon! <laughs> Oh, oh, hi, oh, pro tycoon. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, eh. What's wrong? Do you happen to know classmate A? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Yeah, that. Yeah, we met this morning. I don't know why my generic voices are the voices that I used in the mic videos. God damn it. But I feel like... Classmate Coon has a creepy, soft voice, so... <coughs> uh, I see. Well, I guess Pro Tycoon is moving along quickly. What do you mean by that? Now, let's start class. Yatta! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was the lunch bell. Sounds like the school bell, but it's to signify that it's lunchtime. I stayed seated in my chair in a daze, possibly from incoming hunger pains. Perhaps I should get something to eat. Hey. <laughs> what the hell, man? Don't give me a heart attack. Oh. Are we using American bro speak? I got it, bro. <laughs> Uh, no, I'll use it when we actually become bros. Okie dokie. Go men! <laughs> the, I, I believe Classmate Coon is the representation of the everyday weeb that we've caught in our high school uh, at one point in time. <laughs> uh, uh, growl. It seems you're hungry. Obviously. Why don't we go to the lunch room? Why doesn't he have eyes in this? Oh, oh, are these his eyes? Okay, usually these are eyebrows, but okay, never mind. <clears throat> I'll treat you as a fellow classmate. Sure, classmate Kuhn, I like you. Sure, sounds good. As we arrive to the cafeteria, I notice the lack of human life forms. <laughs> Where is everyone? They probably took every last thing of the menu and left. What? Really? And now what do we eat now? We can work our, off our hunger by exercising. In the sports field just outside of the clock of the lunchroom. Those fucking emoticons are distracting. Oh, how convenient. I suppose we should work our... I suppose we should work off our hunger like real Japanese men. Growl. But the hunger was too strong, as if someone had just gone to the kitchen to make me a sandwich and then stabbed me because I told them to make me that sandwich! 
<laughs> or like when you cheat on your girlfriend and she stabs you and takes you to a nice boat after chopping off your head. I, I know that reference. <laughs> I'm too hungry to move. Classmate Kud, on the other hand, was sprinting across the field like a gazelle. He sure isn't looking hungry. I'm going to the vending machine for a drink. Oh, could you get me a milk drink? <laughs> yeah, sure. Really, I think... Oh, damn it! I Really, I think he should have gone and gotten both of us drinks because I just got transferred here. I might get lost on my way to the vending machine. I headed out to look for the vending machine. And there, and there they were, sitting in a nice row. Looking at the displays, I rummaged inside my pockets. Luckily, I had enough for two drinks. I placed the right amount of Japanese yen into the machine for that milk drink classmate could have wanted. Plop. Then I inserted the same amount of change for another drink, eager for a rare strawberry milk drink that was just so much better than that Nesquik crap. <laughs> but instead, plop, down came another plain milk drink. Uh, what? You gotta be kidding me. Out of hunger and frustration, I kicked the vending machine. You baka, give me my Ichigo Pansu! <laughs> I kicked it a few times and soon everything fell out from the machine. It was another plain milk drink. Kusa! You get it? Cause it's the name, it's kind of like the name of the game, but it's also a curse word for shit. Because we're all weebs here. Being a weeb is cool. Saying Japanese stuff when you're obviously not Japanese in front of, you know, your friends is cool. <laughs> Seriously angered, I took the three milk drinks in a huff and spat at the machine. As I walked away from the machine, a truck crashed into it. Served you right, you unintelligible machine. Then I returned to the sports field. Here's your drink. Oh thanks, you got three? I handed him his drink and started opening mine. Well, there were some complications, and I, I, I then took the straw and punctured a hole in the carton. Oh no. I stopped to listen before sipping the drink. I heard about that vending machine. I heard that it's haunted. <laughs> Those damn emoticons. Are you Baka? <laughs> By then I had already ripped the straw from the juice box and stabbed it in the opening. I placed my unlipped uh, my uh, my lipped balm lips and suckered ferociously. <laughs> well, wait, don't. What? Ew. I spat the taste of sour milk. Oh, I spat at the taste of sour milk. The tangy and curd texture settled into the back of my throat, making me gag. Bleh, this is disgusting. That's what I was trying to warn you of. You weren't warning me about anything. I quickly threw all the milk drinks in the nearby trash can. The flashing memory of me drinking rotten milk made me nauseous. This must be karma, vengeance from the haunted vending machine. See? I told you the vending machine was haunted. What does that have to do with the fact that I drank spoiled milk? Now I feel diarrhea coming on. I think you should head to the nurse's office for some laxatives. <laughs> what, what are laxatives? Don't know, but I think it's supposed to cure diarrhea. <laughs> oh, whatever. Just take me there. Damn, my stomach churned as we moved through through the hallways and climbed the stairs. We finally arrived at the nurse's office, but yeah, she was out. She probably went out for what for the lunch break. Well, who could have guessed? I guess you'll have to suffer throughout the day with overflowing intestines. <laughs> I guess. Or I could skip school and head home. What a great idea! I'll come along to see you home then. Wow, thanks man, and I hardly even know you. Well, it's for the sake of a classmate. Even one who I only just met today and who keeps badmouthing me. <laughs> what, did, what did you say? Never mind, let's get going! <laughs> out, 
the school onto the streets as well. Hey, wanna go to the park? No, because my anus is hurting. <laughs> well, you didn't have to be so specific. Ah, uh, whatever, just let me sit on the bench and you can play on the slide or whatever little children play on. Gosh, sitting down feels like dying. Are you feeling any better? Do I look like I'm feeling any better? Well, seeing that you're sweating and turning blue in the face, IDK. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> then suddenly a bunch of rough and tough looking boys showed up. <laughs> delinquents. Oh no. As I was about to get up to escape, the delinquents noticed me. Classmate Coot, of course, looked dumb as usual. He did not notice the crowd coming over. Hey, let's go. I tugged on his shirt to persu persuade him to move. Persuade him. <laughs> <clears throat> what's what's wrong, Protag Coot? Like a convenient placed plot point that couldn't be avoided, the delinquents approached us. Well, if it is the two youthful young men skipping school. And look, one of them has white hair. Where let me see. I, I don't know. I don't know any other voices. <laughs> They pushed classmate Coot out of the way just to get in front of me. Crowding over me, one of them tugged my hair. Ow. Let go. Don't, don't talk back if you, if, you want, if you want to get hurt. Now hand over your money. Bullies love stolen money. Yeah, and stolen leftovers. I mean, goddammit, I don't know if I read that right. I'm tired. Hey, don't touch him. Before classmate Coon could intervene, he was punched to the ground by one of the faceless bullies. Hey! Then one of them took out a knife. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Whoa there! Knives! Yeah, knives, seriously. The first boy looked stunned and a bit flustered. What, what's so bad about knives? Isn't, it, isn't that a bit uh, overdone? Don't you have some other weapon you can use that isn't sharp? Like a gun? <laughs> You're freaking Yankees, for God's sakes. Be, be, be a bit more innovative, Jesus! Ugh, this always happens when I get threatened with a knife. Damn my foolish courage and impulsive shonen nature. <laughs> Shut it! You're in no position to criticize what I use to scare my, my victims. Now hand it over. He started to brandish his knife towards me, possibly set off by my offhand, yeah, handed comments. Oh no, these faceless bullies with no physical mass are throwing words at me. I'm so defenseless. Sticks and st stick and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Shut it, you cliched anime white-haired Gary Stew. <laughs> oh fuck, that hurt. <laughs> well, the truth hurts, and so does my knife. Oh shit. The third boy collapsed, then the second boy. I looked up to find classmate Coot had defeated them both. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> Boy Ace started to get clumsy from the apparent defeat of his accomplices. Don't, don't come any closer, you monster. Or, or else what? I'm a sports junkie, an athletic one at that. <laughs> and with one swoop, bam, down went the last boy. Whoa! Thanks, man! You, you saved me! Well, it was for my friend. Y yeah I guess. Are you okay? Well, other than the fact that I'm very in need of a toilet, not good. How about you? Just a bruise here and there. Th that's good. So, I guess we're friends now? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, our relationship went up a step, but perhaps it can go further. <laughs> we went back to the street after we called the cops about the Yankees. We, we both went home, safe and sound, going our separate ways. I sat on the toilet once I got home and farted for the rest of the day, contemplating the homoerotic feelings caused by classmate Coot. 
This was the end of my rather exciting first day of high school in Japan.